Are you a budding entrepreneur belonging to the revered SCST community? Willing to expand to the lucrative international market? Well, then I have some wonderful news for you. National Scheduled Caste Scheduled Tribe Hub Scheme or NSSH, an initiative of Ministry of MSME Government of India, is launched to promote entrepreneurship to aspiring and existing SCST entrepreneurs across their business life cycle to achieve the 4% mandate of public procurement policy. To empower you to step into the international market by availing the services of the various Export Promotion Councils or EPCs, an institution that excels in making trade relations across the globe. All you need to do is get the membership of EPCs under NSSH of Export Promotion Councils through which you can also reduce the financial burden of the annual membership fee charged by EPCs. NSSH offers you a big saving on these membership charges. Now let me tell you what this scheme has to offer and what is its eligibility criteria. For SCST MSEs, this special scheme offers reimbursement of 50% or 20,000 rupees, whichever is less. On the annual membership fee, one-time subscription charges, entry fee charges by various export promotion councils. Only after submission of a tested copy of valid registration come membership certificate issued by the respective Export Promotion Council or EPC post-registration and document submission as listed in the guideline. Only SCST MSEs that have Udyam registration number, PAN number and registration under Goods and Services Tax or GST, Valid Import Export Code or IEC can avail the scheme provided they meet all conditions laid down by the respective council for becoming a member. In case of no GST number, provide a self-declaration for the same with reasons. In case of a proprietorship firm, the proprietor must be an SCST candidate. In case of partnership firm or limited liability partnership firm, the consolidated shares of the SCST directors should be at least 51%. In case of private limited companies, the SCST promoters of the firm should hold a minimum of 51%. Remember, SCST MSEs can avail or renew membership of any Export Promotion Council or EPC under the scheme upon submission of relevant documents and can avail this scheme multiple times in a financial year but only up to a prescribed limit. EPCs which are under the administrative control of Department of Commerce and Industries and Ministry of Textiles Government of India are covered under the scheme. And now let me take you through the application process of the Export Promotion Council Membership Fee Reimbursement Scheme. Step 1. Submission of Claims Upon receiving the registration come membership certificate or RCMC from EPC, the applicant can apply online through NSSH website www.scsthub.in or approach nearest CSC VLE for claiming the reimbursement of membership fees charged by Export Promotion Councils with duly filled application form along with all documents. Please note that details of documents required for applying online are available on www.scsthub.in. In this step, in-depth evaluation of application in terms of documentation is conducted. In case of any discrepancies, clarifications would be sought from the applicant or EPCs appropriately. Incomplete documents shall not be accepted at all. Step 3. Approval for reimbursement. Only those proposals with all the required documents received within the prescribed timeline, norms and criteria are considered for approval. Step 4. Mode of reimbursement. Post-approval, reimbursement amount will be transferred to your bank account directly through Public Financial Management System or PFMS. Timeline of Submission of Claims The applicant can submit the claim within 45 days from the issuance of the registration come membership certificate issued by the respective EPC. Well now, there are some key points to remember. Any SCST MSE availing reimbursement under this scheme cannot apply for the reimbursement of EPC membership fee from any other scheme of government or private agencies. 
and mere submission of the application form and documents does not guarantee the reimbursement under this scheme. Your reimbursement is subject to evaluation of your documents and approval of your application. In case of further queries regarding the process, drop an email at nssh-support at nsic.co.in. You can also scan the QR code on the screen and call on their toll-free number 1-800-111-954. So now you are ready to begin an exciting journey with NSSH that allows you to avail the benefits of EPCs without worrying about the membership fee charged and there are other benefits as well that you will get to know from NSSH website www.scsthub.in. I hope you have understood the simple steps that you need to take now. And now, you too make use of this vital information. Go ahead, chase your dreams of becoming a successful entrepreneur. Meanwhile, I will keep you posted on further updates. All the best!